Hello guys, my name is Martin and welcome in another tutorial. Today I show you something different than usual. Usually I show you only a Photoshop tutorial or Lightroom tutorial. But today I use both of these programs and I show you how to create interesting effects using Photoshop and Lightroom. It's not tutorial about one effect but it's a tutorial about how to create interesting effects on your images. So I show you only what tools you should use to create an interesting effects on your images. At first I duplicate my image. We didn't have too much work in Photoshop, most of our work is in Lightroom, because I think Lightroom is best for images and then go to filter blur and you have two options you can use gaussian blur or motion blur usually for this effect i use gaussian blur because i want to make something like dreamy effect but this time i decided to use motion blur so put distance about 100 and about zero something like this uh, it doesn't look nice i know but change blend mode to screen and we get something like this. If it's too strong, of course you can change opacity to, for example, 18%. It's, and here is our job in Photoshop. So now we need to save our image as a JPG. I call it effect because I didn't have any idea. And okay. So now we need to change our program to Lightroom. And now I imported this image to Lightroom. But what I need to say at the beginning uh, with Lightroom, and maybe I should start it with Lightroom and add all these effects in Lightroom and uh, then uh, create a dreamy effect in Photoshop, but it's uh, not a big deal. So. Uh, we started in Lightroom as a second program. So, how to create an interesting effect? I usually add some temperature on the image to add some lights, to light warm colors, and I don't want to use tint right now. It does because I use uh, usually temperature. If I want a warm image, I add some yellow colors. If I want to add some cold colors, I just add some blue. I need to add some contrast, it always helps. Also, I want to add some whites and blacks, but not too much, really. We need to be. Uh, careful because we don't want to destroy our image the next step you can add some clarity but also not too much and of course some vibrance but not too much because it wouldn't be so natural if you add too much effects so right now I close the basic panel and I don't want to use tone curve because it can destroy our AMI image and I prefer using curves in Photoshop. So second step I just want to add some split tuning and nothing more. You can add some yellow colors. If it's too much you can change your basic panel and put the uh, temperature only at 5 and then you can add more color in split tuning. Maybe it's even more natural. And the second color as always is a soft blue color, something like this. And take a look. I want to add more, more yellow color so I put a balance at plus 20 So, of course, you can add some detail, you can sharpen this image, but it it's not necessary. You can also add some effects, for example, amount. 
if you want, but I don't think it's necessary on this image. So it's all. Take a look how it was before the editing in Lightroom and uh, after. Our image has really nice colors right now. It's really nice effect, but as I said, it's not a regular effect. I just show you quick tip what tools you should use to create an interesting effect using Photoshop and Lightroom. Thank you for watching and see you soon.